we just watched him pull this guy over. Of course, he opens the car door, reaches in, grabs hold of the guy's arms. They're gonna do the same thing to the other guy. In theory, Vasquez could ask for the guy's ID, but he has no interest in that ID. There was no traffic violation, no probable cause at all. We're here to protect you. Thank you. No reason to be touching these people. No reason to request that they get out of the car. This is what the Los Angeles Sheriff Department does. All day and night. They, see what I'm saying? They think that you're not capable of opening the door and exiting the vehicle like a grown man. They expect you to keep your hands on the dashboard or in the air. They open the door and then they grab your arm. See what they do? This is for an alleged traffic stop. Alleged. By alleged, I mean this is just what they do to whoever they choose based on their own personal bias. Constantly searching innocent people. If they find a valid reason to arrest, they make up that probable cause months from now in court. If there's ever a pre-trial motion to suppress evidence, which never happens, less than 1% of the time. So these unlawful searches are never even questioned. This is an innocent person. These are innocent people, and this is what the sheriff does constantly. Are you okay with the police searching your wife, your kids, your anybody you care about under these circumstances? This is Deputy Vasquez over here, and it appears that tonight, based on the instructions he was given, I think he might be training this guy over here. This might be a new guy. And so you just seen for yourself what the sheriff department is training their new deputies to do. It shouldn't be hard to figure out that the sheriff staffs the LA County Jail as well as the courtrooms. There are bailiffs in the courtrooms. So basically there's a conflict of interest here. If they're not putting people in into the courts and into the jails, then they're out of work. That's a more than enough incentive to do illegal searches and that's what they do all night. So now you see Vasquez running the identification that he picked up off the seat of the car with the wallet and other items that he threw down from the pockets of the alleged suspect. See how they do it? They do it backwards. In a civilized world, he would ask you for your ID and he would check it and hand it back to you. But this is United States of America. We've got a, a government that murders people all over the world right here at home as well people living in poverty are targets for the government to incarcerate to harass intimidate extort rape but that's what they'll do they grab you out so fast and then they'll lock you in the back of the car and they'll say where's your license or where's your registration if it's in the glove box they're like oh we'll get it for you now do you see how that worked out why couldn't they ask for an id from the window they don't even have a reason to make the stop let alone detain people. The police are trying to talk them in to somehow believing that what they did was justified. It's not justified. How are you, man? We seen them pull you guys over. Was that some bullshit or what? We were at the gas station. He busted a bitch to follow us on purpose. You're allowed to drive at the tailgate down? That's not yeah, a crime? That's not illegal, right? Yeah, that's not illegal. <laughs> were you guys nervous? A little bit. A little bit. It's, it's scary, I know, right? I was actually more at peace because you were there. Yeah. They planted shit on me in the, in the past. Yeah. I just have a wonderful night. I'm glad, I'm glad you got released so quickly. All right. All right. That went well, huh? Yes, Laura Shark. Uh, <laughs> <laughs>